Think you know everything about gaming headset design? Get ready for some surprises as we speak to Logitech G Head of Audio Engineering and Innovation for Gaming, Tiffany Beers. Graphics, feel and function in games are all vital, but sometimes it's easy to forget just how important audio is. Every single explosion, every reload click, every roar of something hungry. All these things enrich your gaming experience in a meaningful way. And this is just one reason of many why it's important to get the right headset. Whether it's the advancing footsteps of the enemy or just the wind whispering past your ears in a horror game, the right audio can immerse us in a game like nothing else. And the way your headset is designed is a big part of that. In this video, we'll be looking at what goes into designing the headset that you put on every day, why it looks the way it does, feels the way it does, and what the decisions were behind those choices. We'll even look at how important the tone of your voice can be through the microphone. To get all the answers, we spoke to Logitech G's Head of Audio Engineering and Innovation, Tiffany Beers, and asked her to share the secrets behind designing the ultimate gaming headset. First things first, it's time to talk about the most vital aspects of a good gaming headset. And while sound is important, feel is also a key aspect. It's all about feeling snug, but not too snug. I'll let Tiffany explain. I think the most important um, aspects when you're picking out a headset and when we're designing headsets are comfort for one, because in gaming you tend to wear it for a lot longer than probably normal. I mean, we have gamers that are wearing it 10, 12 hours a day. So comfort to me um, is very, very important. And then audio quality. So maybe you personally game for 12 hours straight, but the right headset has to function for everyone. And it's this variability that makes headset design a serious challenge. Think of the longest time you've ever worn a headset. Usually people say it's an airplane flight, like six hours or something. And by the end of it, they're like ready to take it off. Like it's maybe annoying them a little bit. So it's not only just the comfort of it, but it's the temperature too. It depends on the environment you're in. If, if you're in a warmer environment and you start to sweat in that headset, it just becomes sticky and, and more uncomfortable. So I think the amount of variables and the amount of difference from person to person is really fascinating in a headset. If you haven't thought about it before, it seems strange that we can all feel like we can pick up a headset and it will automatically fit. I mean, I don't expect to be able to fit into Matt's clothes, not that I'd want to. So why would we wear the same headset? We try a ton of different people because head shape is different too, right? We have a lot of variables here. And so heads are wider, narrower, longer. So the headset has to work for the head shape too, which means that the ear cups have to be positioned properly. There's way more variables than I ever thought there would be in headsets. And it all comes down to finding the one that fits you well and allows you to hear what you need to hear for the game you're playing. So it's important to make sure that you take the time to get your fit right. And this is a big part of headset design too. We're all different and taking a few minutes before your session to make sure everything's in place means you'll actually experience far better sound. The headsets right now are built so that uh, they have some changes of some variability in them, right? So the ear cups of most headsets will swivel. So when you put it on, even everyone's ear location isn't the same, right? So one ear might be in front of the other. One ear might be higher than the other. And so you can adjust usually the headband, right? So you can raise the height. And then also the ear cups will rotate so that they fit flat to your head. The flatter and better uh, surface contact to the head, the better the acoustic sound and actually the better overall sound that you'll have from the headset because none of that audio is leaking out of it. Speaking of audio, now that your headset fits correctly, it's time to talk about exactly what's going into your ears and why it matters so much. Audio and gaming is so very, very important because you have to listen to the environment around you and you have to listen to certain cues to tell you to make actions. That noise. Right. Let's go. Came from over there. And if you can't hear those cues, maybe because the headset isn't refined for gaming or maybe the audio is just really bad quality, maybe it's a really cheap headset, you might not hear some of those things. As games become more complex and game sounds become more refined, hearing the full range of audio at the highest fidelity can be conducive to a more immersive, competitive experience. But it's not just about quality. If our head shapes all being different wasn't enough of a test, 
It turns out that as humans, we all hear things differently. What one person hears won't necessarily be the same as another. The other thing is we all don't hear the same, right? Like we're all at different levels of hearing, but just based on the shape of our ears, just how, like, I don't know how you hear, you don't know how I hear. So it's kind of an individual preference that, you know, if you have a headset that you can't hear footsteps in, or you can't hear these subtleties that maybe your team teammates are talking about, you might want to look at a different headset. So with all these variables in play, how does a designer like Tiffany actually make the perfect product? It's all about testing. Every headset gets onto multiple heads, both inside and outside the company, to make sure that the sound is as good as it can be for as many people as possible. We definitely put it on. So we have an internal group of people that are in our gaming team in design and engineering. We put it, almost all of them try it. We reach out to other people in other areas of Logitech and we have them all try it. Not everything is down to your headset though. The right audio mix for your games is vital to keep you fully immersed in the experience. No matter your favourite genre of game, the action on screen needs to be paired with just the right levels of sound. And we normally don't even think about exactly what that is. Tiffany breaks it down for us. So the, the different games and the audio that comes out of the games, right, comes down to the audio developers for the games. And take a first person shooter game, right? You're listening to gunshots, you're listening to footsteps, you know, in general, your environment's probably not super loud unless you're in a team scenario um, and you're getting into, into a battle or something. If you think a simulation, right, for uh, racing and for flight, like you're very much listening to the vehicle, right? You're listening to how it's performing. You're listening to the gears of the shifting. You're listening for the the sound of the tires on the pavement. You know, you're, li you're listening for the other cars. And so that's a little bit louder, kind of a different environment because there's a constant base level of noise there. Sometimes they call it, I think, the noise floor, wherein like a first person shooter, it might be quiet. In general, the, the noise floor might be quiet or almost silent. And then you hear a car or you hear someone walking or you hear some gunshots over there. So it makes sense then that the perfect gaming headset will let you hear all of these things and fewer of the things that you don't need to hear. A headset has to have great range if it's going to be compatible with a wide variety of gaming genres. And as Tiffany goes on to explain, there can't be any distortion. Designing a headset for this, you just need to have a good quality audio design and a good range, right? So like the, the Pro G50 and the Pro G40, they're made so they cover a large range of frequencies. And that is so that basically in any of these games, you can hear what you want to hear. Distortion is basically when the when a certain sound comes through, your driver basically fails and it makes like a, a bad noise. It makes a weird noise versus replicating the game noise. And if, if you're hearing distortion in your headset, you're not actually hearing the audio from the game. And so when headsets get old and, and the certain quality headsets, you'll hear some distortion, but the like, for example, the Pro G drivers are made to limit that distortion and remove it so that they work across all games. Um, and all kinds of frequencies. And finally, there's one more element that's crucial to good headset design. It's not just about hearing, it's about communicating. I think comfort and audio are probably the two biggest things. I think the third thing that I look at most importantly is communication, right? So the mic. So if you're talking to your teammates, I did some research a while back and of our, when we communicate to another person, you know, 38% of how it's communicated is actually in the tone of our voice. And a lot of the mic quality these days is maybe blurring the sound of the voice, muffling it, it's not very clear because it hasn't been a focus. So I look at how are we designing the mics and how can someone hear me talking to my teammates, vice versa, to make sure that that communication is really clear. So there you go, all the amazing things that go into making your headset that you might not have thought about until now. Thank you to Tiffany for taking the time to talk to us. And if you have any questions about headset design or game audio, pop them in the comments and we'll try and answer them in a future video. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this feature, hit that like button and remember to hit the notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.